Cliff Richard's gentle, family-friendly style was guaranteed to make this song a smash hit. We're all going on a summer holiday. No more working for a week or two. Performed in the film of the same name, lush scenery brought its words to life. For me, for you, for a week or two. But it was Brian Bennett and Bruce Welsh of The Shadows who wrote it. It was the early 1960s and they were starring in a pantomime at the Globe in Stockton when they heard a new film was being made. We've seen it in movies, let's see if it's true. And Bruce came in with a script, he said, they've got a, here's a song, you know, here's a, here's a, here's a script for Summer Holiday, you know, but they haven't got a hit, we needed a hit. The actual synopsis said Cliff and three or four of his mates hire a London bus and drive through Europe on a summer holiday. And I thought, well, we're all going on a summer holiday. I mean, it was just so obvious, it was, wasn't it? It was obvious, and it was, and I just went straight for, we're going where the sun shines brightly. The two, five, one, it was just, in it, it, it was all over it. It's a musical it. term, two, five, one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it means. <laughs> we're going where the sea is blue. And if you think that's impressive, Wait till you hear how long it took them to write the hit. Under an hour. Under an hour? Yeah, because it was simple, because it just fell off the, the lips easily. Well, we, we played it to Cliff first, obviously, because he's, he's the governor. And he just liked it, didn't he? He, did. he really liked it. Yeah. It also the, suited his voice. Yeah. Once his voice went on it, it was sort of like almost meant to be. The song shot to number one. That was 60 years ago. It crosses generations, doesn't it? You know, I, I sing it to my children when we go on holiday. How, how nice is it to know that all these years later? It's is fabulous. It? It's yeah. fabulous for us to hear that story. Yeah. That's great to know that. But can you do us a favour next time you sing it? Can you ring the Performing White Society <laughs> and say, we're on the road to Whitby and we're just singing this song? <laughs> While Brian is a Londoner, Bruce grew up in Newcastle. He always dreamed of becoming a musician, making it into the shadows and returning to his home region to perform in Stockton at one of the country's most popular venues. Were they happy, happy days at the Globe in Stockton? What else do you want? Winter in Stockton or tea <laughs> in pantomime? <laughs> Three weeks over Christmas. Love to the Globe Theatre. We had a great time there. And back then, as young 20-somethings, did they have any idea just how big their song would become? Oh, I didn't personally, no. No. Okay. You've always been on a downer. <laughs> <laughs> you must have known with that middle eight you wrote. I know. Well, you, the best bit, you mean. Yeah, the yeah. best bit, yeah. <laughs> Many would argue the whole song is the best bit, making dreams come true. <laughs> Rachel Bullock, ITV News. Almost in tune. <laughs>